From a shipping mishap that sent two packed containers crashing to the ground, and a crane accident in Chile that definitely got somebody fired, to an incredible failure at an empty Chinese factory that sent a fireball high into the sky, and a warehouse disaster in Russia that sent workers running for cover. Here are some of the most incredible warehouse and industrial failures caught on camera. Komsomolsk on Amur is an industrial city in eastern Russia. It's home to over 238,000 people and a high-production steel plant called Amur Metal. They produce 2.15 million tons of steel each year. With all that volume, something is bound to go wrong. On December 29th of 2013, the workers lost control of a piece of machinery. Unfortunately, that piece of machinery was in charge of pouring molten steel. Instead of pouring it where it should, it dumped it all over the factory floor. The worst part? It was coming right for them. Nobody got hurt during the accident thanks to strict safety procedures. The last place you'd want to be is near all that molten metal. Steel is a mix of iron and carbon that melts between 2,500 and 2,800 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature can vary because of the different elements it contains. For example, stainless steel has chromium, nickel, and other elements, lowering its melting point. Now, we're not sure what caused this accident in the first place. There could have been an electrical malfunction, or maybe someone hit the wrong button. Either way, all that molten steel probably caused significant damage to the factory floor. A retail warehouse can store hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of inventory at any given time. Warehouses are why your favorite stores always have items on the shelves. They're also why warehouse catastrophes can lead to unexpected shortages. On July 10th of 2011, a handful of Russian warehouse workers were doing their jobs, moving boxes and bringing items out of storage. They had no idea that one of their shelves was on the verge of collapse. Workers and forklifts move around like it's another day at the office, but ignore them for now. Instead, focus on the four support pillars, specifically the third one from the left. Without warning, one of the shelves collapses, triggering a domino effect that nearly takes out the entire warehouse. Workers flee for cover, not knowing if the whole place is about to collapse. Thankfully, only one row falls, plus about a third of the row behind it. It's hard to tell what was on those shelves. We think it's some kind of liquid, as you can see it pooling as the workers run by. Hopefully, it wasn't toxic or too expensive. Cranes make the world go round. It's how we move heavy stuff like shipping containers, bridge segments, and construction vehicles. It's all about weight and counterweight. Modern cranes are equipped with computers that tell operators when a load is too heavy. That said, the computer is only as good as the information it gets. This crane accident in Chile shows why correct calculations are critical for everyone's safety. Thankfully, nobody got hurt when the crane collapsed. 
The workers on the roof zigged to safety instead of zagging to injury. Still, somebody is about to get an earful from their boss. Not only is the crane destroyed, but so is some of the building and the heavy machinery they were lifting. It makes you wonder, is there any sort of warning when something like this is about to happen? Well, according to a former crane worker on Reddit, the computer will set off all kinds of alarms and lights when the load gets too heavy. Those warnings happen well before the tipping point, but a reckless operator can bypass them if they want. If you ever see a crane operator press a button to stop the warning lights, run. In Russia, one of the largest companies is an online retailer called Wildberries, and there's a good chance you've never even heard of it. It's basically the Amazon of Russia. Since its founding in 2004, it has grown into a massive organization with warehouses all over the country. In January of 2024, a massive fire broke out at the company warehouse in St. Petersburg. Workers noticed the blaze and began evacuating the 700,000 square foot space. When he wasn't busy running, one man captured the fire on camera. <laughs> Thankfully, everybody made it out of the building as firefighters arrived, but this battle was just beginning. According to reports, it took them 30 hours to get the fire under control. They said it likely started due to faulty electrical wiring. Wildberries built the warehouse in 2021 with permission from the Russian government. However, the fire inspector never signed off on the finished product. Therefore, it was operating illegally. There were also reports that the fire alarm didn't work. Someone allegedly turned it off after several false alarms the day before. Ultimately, the fire could cost Wildberries over 20 billion rubles, or $219 million. Insurers are still calculating the total cost. International trade is a fast-paced business. Every day, millions of shipping containers travel around the world, bringing you things like coffee, silverware, and shampoo. Thanks to multiple heavy-duty machines, they move around ports at lightning speed. On June 9th of 2015, one of those machines found itself in a pickle. The top loader, which is a crane that grabs containers like the claw machine, got stuck at a port in Mexico. Wait until you hear how he ended up like this. The Spanish video caption roughly translates to poorly performed maneuver damages merchandise in container. We're thinking this crane operator tried something risky and failed. Containers come in two sizes, 20 foot and 40 foot. You can clearly see where 40 footers are stacked on top of two 20 footers, like this yellow one on top of two gray ones. While it looks like the top loader was carrying a 40 foot box that snapped in half, we think he tried to pick up two 20 foot containers simultaneously. This video shows that sometimes it's worth making a second trip. Now this entire port has a much bigger headache to deal with. Warehouses are supposed to be neat and orderly. It helps things run smoothly, especially when you're dealing with thousands of items and razor-thin deadlines. This next warehouse is what we'd call messy, disorderly, and inefficient. We don't know where or when this warehouse accident occurred. Wherever it was, they should probably work on retraining their employees. One of their forklift drivers could use a special lesson in spatial awareness. Disorganized is an understatement. This warehouse has items all over the place. OSHA would not be pleased. Our forklift driver appears, carrying a wide load toward a narrow gap. There's no way he's going to try and make it through. To his credit, he almost makes it. Unfortunately, the front right corner of his box gets caught on the shelf, causing the whole thing to topple over. The low quality footage makes it hard to determine what was on the shelves, though they look like heavy appliances. Our driver bailed out at the last second. You can see him running away as everything comes crashing down. Some employees enter from the back, while a man in white sprints into the dust. He checks on the driver as the warehouse manager steps into the frame. 
Hopefully, this expensive mistake helped them get their act together. Hunan is a landlocked province in central China. It's home to just over 99 million people and the charred remains of an old aluminum alloy plant. On July 20th of 2021, heavy rain caused the river near the Dengfeng Power Group Company to overflow. Flood water seeped into the plant and spilled into a high-temperature solution, also known as molten aluminum. What happened next was a science experiment gone wrong. Miraculously, nobody was injured due to prior evacuations. No, that was not the nuke from Oppenheimer. That was a multi-million dollar Chinese aluminum plant leaving the face of the earth. According to reports, the river overflowed around 4 a.m. It collapsed one of the factory walls and spilled into the molten tank. Thankfully, the company had already evacuated the plant long before water levels on the river reached dangerous heights. When water touches molten metal, it evaporates instantaneously. The gases create toxic fumes, which can cause tiny pops or massive explosions. You can see a bit of both in these clips. In some angles, you see one big blast, but one angle in particular, you can really see the multiple tiny explosions happening over and over again. It really puts into perspective the risks some of these factories take working with hazardous materials and the importance of following proper safety protocol. The Visakhapatnam steel plant has a bright future ahead of it. Between 2021 and 2022, they produced over 15 million tons of hot metals, mostly steel. Unfortunately, that high production level didn't come without a few hiccups in 2020. In early November, a small fire broke out in thermal power plant number two. According to reports, the fire began due to leaking oil. Plant officials would rather play down the severity, but video from inside the plant shows how dangerous the situation really was. That minor fire looked more like the floor was covered in hot lava. Thankfully, firefighters arrived and controlled the blaze before it burnt down the whole factory. Plant operators said the fire broke out around 4.45 a.m. after oil leaked from the lubrication system in the turbine area. Thankfully, nobody got hurt and production at the steel plant was unaffected. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.